and bump into this dog because like you know what i'm gonna be cute and put this thing on this is like the first dog i've like bumped into like bumped not like bump into like that but you know uh in in, in, in a long time right like I, I gotta get it i've got to get this this is this is youtube content and um my god <laughs> i had to stay on the mirror and uh, i put it i put it, if if you know gopros you know you can mess with the settings you know what lens to use and whatnot so i put it on super view that way you can get a good wide angle guess what old boy right here did okay so the battery went dead I must have pressed a button where it went into narrow like a freaking YouTube rookie. Uh, let's just face it, none of that happened like that. Uh, I did that on purpose to uh, show you guys how horrible of, of a job I did backing up into this dock. I don't know. You'll never know the reason why I put it in narrow view. Neither will I, really, apparently. So. This is my first load back, first load back uh, trucking, and uh, I'm in Longview, Texas. I so I picked up the truck yesterday in Oklahoma City. Deadheaded down here to uh, I, I just need to get the truck ready. I, I just you know I was prepared to stay out for a few days, and um, but I was like, nah, I wasn't prepared so which is which is a good thing so i came down here which is not a good thing i wasn't prepared but it's a good thing that i came down here uh so I pick, i'm picking up this load in longview here on friday i'm taking it to kansas city on monday so i will uh spend saturday at the house got a club meeting tomorrow morning and then uh sunday morning bright and early probably early before the bright and uh, get out and uh, ride up there. Maybe uh, maybe try to get there at Harrisonville, right there at that Sat Brothers. I love that. I love that little truck stop. If not, there's a Flying J up there uh, and whatnot. So, hey, by the way, I, you guys, I've told you guys, you know, I'm with TRC with the last videos and stuff like that. But uh, I just wanted to uh, just clarify some things here. So I've been working with TRC for the last three years, almost three years. Um, uh, if you are, if you've been watching Bonehead Truckers for the last three years, you would see their content. You would see TRC content on on that channel, and uh, they've grown a lot because of you guys putting up or the with the ads because all you guys you know you got your own gig going on you know maybe you're not looking for another job so maybe you guys you know but but you guys tolerate it right you, i try to make i would try to make the the commercials uh somewhat somewhat little comical kind of fit with the uh with the uh video but uh but now i'm driving for them and uh, i feel like even though this is like my first load driving for them, I feel like I've been here for the last three years. You know, I've just, I've been a part of the company for the last three years, you know? Uh, so this definitely does feel at home. And, uh, but, so enough of that. N enough of the TRC butt kissing. We'll do a little bit of that later. Hey guys, if you see me out here, you know, um, feel free to stop by and uh you know say hi to me it's one of the reasons why i'm out here you know um now i'm not going to be out here like otr spending weeks or months at a time out here listen this truck is just not big enough for me to do that but it has nothing to do with that um i still run bonehead truckers do a co oh look look they finally put a freaking forklift on here feels so sweet you guys don't understand how 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 this feels after being off for so long it almost feels like normal 
I mean, I'm going in there thinking about this and I'm like, 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 am I going to be able to back? Am I going to be able to handle traffic? You know, uh, what about this? What about that? And then, then you just get behind the wheel and do it. And, um, and, and I would say it's just that simple, but it's just kind of that simple. Anyway, so I'm in Longview getting loaded up. Going up there to Kansas City, Mo, and uh, we'll probably get a load back down here because uh, we've got uh, Ham Fest next weekend. Um, I've been saying it for a long time, uh, August 10th, and uh, well, I'll be there August 9th to uh, help set up and everything. So, guys, if you're a truck driver uh, and you're going through Shreveport, Louisiana, got a little extra time, stop there, uh, k5sar.com. If you're in the Shreveport area, or if you hey, if you're in the regional area, if you're a radio guy, um, even if you're not a, a amateur radio operator, you know they have CB. You know some people have CB stuff, but if you're interested in it, uh, yeah, come by, check it out. You know, and uh, hey, I'll be there. Uh, I'll be busy off and on. Um, so, but yeah, that's is uh, this coming weekend, not. By the time you see this, it'll be this coming weekend. So, so looking forward to that. Um, we'll do that for a few days. Well, I'll be off for a few days with that, but then, and then I'll get back out there on the road again and do some out and backs. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a lot of out and backs. All right. So, hey, this video is not over yet, but I'm done talking right now. Let's uh, enjoy a little bit of road shots before we. Uh, get up yonder ray okay 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 Sticks, Highway 259 in Oklahoma. It's been a long time since I've been here. These uh, little trees right here have grown up since the last time I filmed. Cause you used to you could film, you could stop like right here or whatnot, and uh, and see. Really, there's only this one spot right here where you can see just this, this whole area. It's beautiful i've spent the night here lots of times lots of time spending the night here we're just taking a break here uh and just seeing the beauty of this like there they like be fall or fall there'll be like fog and stuff down there so like i said these trees have grown up since last time i've been here gosh it's been a long time Yeah, because you can see this road. Now you can't see it. It's still pretty though, right? It's still pretty. I'm not gonna complain. This guy has his curtains closed. Sitting there uh, taking a break or whatnot. Not a bad place to spot or to sit for the night. Um, even though it's noon. Anyways, we're headed up to Kansas City. It's Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. And uh, probably uh, in the morning after we get this done, we'll get up on the DAT board and uh, uh, book us a load going back down south. Uh, like I said, we're just doing out and back, I think. Testing out the truck in these hills. We got 20,000 pounds on the, on the trailer and uh, testing it out on these back roads. Uh, I enjoy doing these back roads, especially with the light loads. Um, so the truck's doing fine. Now this morning, uh, good thing I was at the house. This morning, the truck wouldn't start. Um, I'm guessing 
I don't know. I, I, I jumped it off with the pickup truck, and once I hit it with a little bit of uh, juice from the truck, from the pickup, it cranked right over, turned right over, had some clicking. So I don't know if we've got a loose connection with the batteries. We'll find out. I think maybe we'll uh, take off. That's the reason why I'm leaving it running. Um, may, may find out when I get to the truck stop later on tonight. Pull everything off and check the connections and stuff. Uh, but yeah, but just really just testing this thing and it's, it's pulling really good. Uh, again, 20,000 pounds by, uh, this is an old truck. So here after a bit, um, when I get stopped in the night, we'll do a little bit of walking around the truck here. We'll do a little bit more walking around the truck and uh, tell, you guys, tell you guys about what we're doing. But uh, I mean, this is a better background right now for me. <laughs> Uh, I've, I've always enjoyed stopping here for a break. Uh, years and years I've stopped here. Uh, I was like, man, three sticks. You know, my route's going to take me straight through here. So, anyway. Sunday, beautiful day. A little warm, but it's summertime. What do you expect? But, anyways, uh, we're going to get up going down the road. Maybe find a little bit of lunch somewhere. Uh, or whatnot. Or are we just wait until dinner time? Who knows? to Pecular, is that how you say this name? Just south of Kansas City. Uh, ran up through the mountains. So, uh, as I said earlier, um, I was afraid to turn off the truck. I went to go take my 30 minute break and uh, just north of Fort Smith, you get up on top of that hill on 49, there's a Loves there and it has that little shop in case it hey it wouldn't start so i turned it off turned it back on sorry right up so got fuel get fuel you turn it off turn it back on sorry right up so i don't know maybe a loose connection with the batteries we'll see uh might figure that out um thing pulled pretty good considering it's 70 or twenty thousand pounds in a box through the hills uh but it pulled pretty good for an old truck and uh got uh delivery in the morning so probably in the morning i'll get up take a shower that way i don't smell like trucker i don't smell like trucker and uh get up and get going when i parked here a while ago i parked right here and there was a guy that i wish i would have got him on camera it was a cool guy he came up to me and says hey man i just saw i was just watching a video about you picking up this truck it was just cool. So he like flagged me. Well, he was trying, I think he was trying to flag me down. I saw a dude make eye contact with me, but um, it ended up being him. And uh, so, so I was backing up into, you know, back here, make sure I had space. And he met me, and we chatted. And man, I, I, just, I didn't even think about getting the camera out and getting him on, because that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get him on. Hey, Stevens, do you even trucker, bro? He got to always ask, do you even trucker, bro? Anyway, um, he may be a snob, might not help. Anyway, but that's one of the reasons why I'm kind of out here, right? Is to meet, meet, uh, meet drivers, you know? And it didn't take long. Like I said, I had just 
set my brakes to get out and look to see if I was going to hit this guy behind me, you know, um, and try to get close. And here, here comes, uh, here comes guy number one. Which is pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. I, I dig it. He was like, "Do you have any shirts?" So I'm like, "Not yet." Like, we're kind of like out of stock even at the house. So eventually, I'll sell some shirts out here. But yeah, good running today. I'm gonna probably get on the DAT board um, in the morning and uh, look for a load back. Probably what I do. I, I just don't want to. I mean, could I do like a little try haul thing this week? Yeah, but we got the ham fest coming up this week and uh that's my commitments and uh i just still trying to get the feel for it it's been a long time it's been a long time since i've done this and uh i'm truly blessed with the situation i'm in whether it be bonehead truckers and trc fray uh to to be in this position where it's like hey man i just give me a load home and i'll start back again next week and kind of got a good idea about what I want to do as far as uh, uh, type of running I want to do. Uh, maybe go to, uh, you know, maybe do some running back and forth to Chattanooga. That'd be great because TRC Freight's based out of Chattanooga. And I would love to, you know, come to the office a lot more uh, than I do. I've only been to the office twice since I've been with TRC Freight for three years. So I'd like to get up in there and uh, a little bit more. And Eric and I are starting a, um, a uh, what do you call it? Uh, a mattress company called the Trucker's Mattress. And uh, that's based out of Chattanooga as well. So a lot of stuff, getting vinyl for the trailer and the truck, all that's gonna be done. See, look at this guy. This guy's got the blue lights underneath this thing right there like that's not too bad I, I would do something like that not with the international but something like that because a truck like this doesn't need that much chrome but i like the lights you know i like the lights and again i think chrome to me goes on on like square hoods like the, the big long hood pete's kenworth kw's um but you do chrome on something like this you can do a little bit but not a whole lot but anyway but yeah finding some loads back and forth uh, i've been looking on dat by the way i work with dat i haven't plugged them in a, in a long time but i need to plug them more uh i work with dat if you guys want to get like dat one which is i forgot how much it costs it, it's quite a bit um, you can save 10% off on the discount if you click the link in my description. So, hey, save yourself some money, all right? And, uh, yeah, and obviously, I get a little bit off of that. Not a whole lot, but, hey, everything helps. But, yeah, DAT, that's who I work with. Um, but I've been using DAT every, every time I've been on the spot market, which is, this has been the third time I've been on the spot market. The sports market so anyway i'm gonna i got video work to do and uh it's starting to get late and uh but yeah so i'm gonna get up in the morning and go take this load in and uh i'm gonna film it i don't know if i'm gonna be able to film myself going into the dock hopefully it'll be better than the time <laughs> picking up this load where i had the settings wrong and all you saw was my elbow. I don't even know what you saw, but I can't imagine it'd be good. Anyway, it was like narrow. Hopefully we'll have a better shot. We'll have a better shot doing the, doing the whole, doing the whole backing in. All right, it's getting hot. I'm sweating. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get in the truck. Oh, it will crank it up. It'll crank up, turn on that AC. tough one we got a good 
good little tight little spot right here. Not much room to work with, but I am the only truck going into the dock, so there's that. much room to work with here. good and flush with that dock. It's one of the things that the guy said, the forklift driver said, be as flush as you can with that dock is kind of particular. As you can see, we don't have much room to work with here. So, getting it straightened up is the hardest part. Getting it into the dock is easy. Getting it straightened up and lined up flush with the dock would be the hardest part. 
This is the reason why we back past our trailer. That way we have a little bit of room to, when we straighten it up, it'll be straight. And if you work at Schneider, don't open up your door when you're backing up. Looks like we're gonna get it maybe this time. Not this time, but we're close. I don't have just nothing but a couple of feet to work with over here. Uh, we're still crooked. Still crooked. Listen, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this uh, just straight at all, so as far as a cab, so it's going to have to come at an angle. We don't have that much room to work with right here. We are not straight whatsoever, but the guy said, oh yeah, we're, we're good right here. So it's about all it, listen, this is all I have, all the room I had right here to work with. So anyway, so look at, look at this. <laughs> but he, he's able to get the dog plate down and get up, get it unloaded. So. Anyways, um, so this morning I uh, got got up this morning and I smelled something bad, and you guys know what it is. Uh, I got a bad battery on this thing now, so I looked up underneath there this morning. And I saw the wet spot. I was kind of hoping that it would be like someone else's. But getting up underneath here and looking, there's one in the back over here that's that's uh, that's wet, and uh, you know. So, and then uh, something back here with uh, one of the brake chambers as well. 
uh, on the trailer and um, there was a lot of white smoke blowing out when I got on the interstate this morning but it uh, went away after you know uh, it's been idling all night so that's the reason why but nevertheless I am going to take it to Oklahoma City I don't know if I'm going to go get a load yet or not uh, to do it or just dead head down there and uh, probably just may maybe have my wife pick me up hopefully the whole smoke issue uh, is just something you just blow up and blow out so because it's running fine uh trailer i could just go ahead and swap the trailer out unless they just want to fix it battery it won't take them long to fix that so i'm not sure if i want to have my wife pick me up or not it's just you know get a load uh going back home right monday uh the latest i'm gonna be out this week is thursday so we've got plenty of time so but this is my first load <laughs> look at this it's all jacked up but i i mean this is the room that i have here you know uh good thing we had they uh made us that spot right out there and just pull straight line back in just like that um a lot easier in a day cab that's for sure not in a day cab now and we're all jacked up look at this <laughs> look at this hey <laughs> we're making a delivery um this does hurt my pride a little bit because it's like, I like to have it straight, you know? But but he was like, oh, no, no, you're good, you're good. So, you know what? I, I could hide this, I could go, ooh, that smell. Uh, I could go and hide that and say, you know what? Just, just do the rest of the video in the cab here and pretend like nothing happened. But, boy, I tell you what, we just did not have much to work with. And, Hey, I'm, I'm just showing you. It's just showing you what we got. So, anyway, uh, I appreciate you guys watching my first load back into trucking after three years. And uh, <laughs> this is what you got. So, I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned. We'll find, we'll figure out what we're going to do with the battery situation because it smells bad. Um, and then with the trailer issue uh, that we have and uh, they're starting to unload me so i'm gonna get some paperwork done and uh see about what we want to do next and uh stay tuned for more videos 73.